Hey guys, EBP Man here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to perfectly install the Whitestone Dome Glass Tempered Glass Screen Protector on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 or the Note 20 Ultra. Let's get right to it. Now, before you attempt to use this video as an installation guide, please, please, please watch this video from beginning to end at least once. Then you could go ahead and use it as an installation guide and pause as you go along. I've been using the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protectors for years. They're on every phone in my home. They're on all my demo phones, the phones that I use here for review. On my Android phones, on my Apple phones, I have it on my Apple Watch, on all my devices. If there's a Dome Glass Screen Protector, it is on it, on my device. So very durable uh, type of screen protector. Um, it's gonna protect your phone. And while they're a little expensive, let's face it, they are, they're the best on the market. So let's take a look at some of the specs and why you'd want one. Now, as we take a closer look at these specs, uh, I love the fact that this is a two packer. So this is gonna support uh, two phones. If you have two phones in your family, or if you wanna have a backup screen protector, you can go ahead and do that. It supports the uh, full ultrasonic uh, fingerprint. It gives you standard clarity or the full clarity. You're not gonna see any clarity issues with this, nor are you gonna have any touch sensitivity issues. It's gonna give you full coverage and it uses this um, unique, uh, I would say, installation guide. It could be intimidating, so that's why we have this video. So let's get right to it. Now, the first thing I wanted to do is share with you what all the accessories look like. So we have a, several components here. We have an installation tray that has two uh, liquid vials. You can only use one during the install. You then also have these adhesive strips. These, we're gonna place them on our phone, all the way around their phone, and we're gonna talk about how that goes on. We also have these strips right here that you're gonna use at the top of the bottom, or at the top of your phone to make sure that you're covering the speaker. We have these uh, cotton swabs. They're gonna go placed here, and they're gonna absorb any additional fluid or excess fluid so that your phone doesn't have all this adhesive all the way around it, and it's pretty simple. You have two uh, tempered glass screen protectors. You have this installation, um, I would say, mechanism that you're gonna see, it's a kind of like a guide that we'll be using. And then you have this UV light that's gonna be used to cure uh, the actual adhesive once you put it on your phone. Now, one of the things I will mention, I do have videos and I'll include a link to it in this one where I show how I remove it. These are fully removable, no damage. You can wipe your phone and you can install it again. So you have this little UV light that's gonna do the cure and then you have some extra wipes here as well as um, some cloth that you'll be able to use for this installation and the next. Now, the other thing that we'll be talking about at the end of the video is this uh, screen protector that is for your camera module. Um, it does not affect the camera quality and it's gonna give you some extra protection, especially if you're dealing with the situation where you know, your camera bump is coming out too far, you may not have a case that gives you the ultimate protection. Now, anytime I do an install of a tempered glass screen protector, I always get this question. Is it compatible with my case? Well, here's one thing you can do. Uh, what I like doing is I take my phone with my case and I take the tempered glass screen protector, as you can see here, you can see what it looks like, and I place it right on top of it to see if it's gonna be compatible or not before I install it. That's important, before I install it. So I place it here and then notice, so this is the white stone and I'm using here my UAG case and as I'm moving it around, notice how much give it has. So it's not gonna be that type of case uh, or a screen protector that's gonna butt up against my phone, which is what causes problems. You'll notice here on the sides, it also doesn't reach all the way to the side. So this is gonna be a tempered glass screen protector that's compatible with the UAG line. Now the first step in this process is gonna be prepping our phone. And I do a couple of things when I prep my phone. Uh, we're gonna wipe this down, but before we wipe it down, I am going to place these strips that you see right here um, all around the phone. Now when you place the strips on the phone, you wanna make sure that the strips themselves are not coming on top of the glass. So you notice how you have here kind of like a separation. You can run your nail here and you can see how the, where it is. So what you wanna do is you wanna protect this area. You don't want it to come on top of the glass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this protector all the way around and then once I put it all the way around, then I'll clean it. Um, I don't wanna clean it first because if I do, I'm gonna be touching it anyway. So first we'll go ahead and put these strips on. Now the strips themselves have this separate tab. So all you have to do is bend it like this and you'll notice how it separates right here, all right? You can just separate it like that. And then what you'll do is you'll just align it. Um, you'll wanna align top, bottom, left and right just to make sure that you have some good protection. I went ahead and placed the first protective strip and I just wanted to show you how I did this. So notice how it is literally, I just placed one piece here, I aligned it over here and I just tapped it down, making sure that it covered my SIM tray. And as I put it here at an angle, you'll notice that there is nothing coming on top. So you're just gonna do the same thing over here. So we have this area right here where you have, um, again, your volume rocker, right? And then we'll do the same thing on this side over here and then we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Next, take a look at the bottom and you'll notice that I have the same situation going on right here. So I have really nice uh, 
I would say application here. Here's where my S Pen is. Just went over it. It does not come up on the top. And as I run my finger here, I can notice that there's nothing there. If it goes to the back a little bit, you don't have to worry about that because there's no glass, no adhesive going there. Now next I'll show you how I protected the volume rocker and power button. Did the same thing again. And as I run my finger here on the side, it's not coming up to the glass. Uh, it's okay if it goes a little bit further to the back, but it's nicely protected. I am going to double check this once I put the tray down. I'm actually going to see if once I place a glass screen protector on top of it to make sure it's not, you know, it's not touching anything on the sides. Now that I have the tape on, I'm going to double check and make sure it doesn't interfere in any way with the screen protector. So I'm just doing a spot check, right? And I'm just putting it right on top of this. You don't have to complete this step. I'm just doing it myself just to make sure everything looks good. And I'm pretty satisfied that the screen is not touching the top or the bottom. There's no tape coming through, so everything looks pretty good. Now the next step in the process is to wipe down our screen. And here's a power tip. Make sure that you have your fans off, your vents are covered, um, no central air going. And literally, I put a cover right on top of my vent to make sure that there isn't anything moving in the room. Um, you're going to use the alcohol wipe to kind of wipe down your phone. Even if it's brand new, you want to do this because you never know if there is, you know, any residue left on it. So I'm just going to wipe it down and polish it really nicely. And then when I initially inspect it and it looks good, and I'm going to check this multiple times, I'm just going to put it aside. Now we're going to look at the tray right here. And what we're going to do is we just only use one of the vials. Uh, we're going to remove uh, this cover from it. And you'll notice that on this cover, it does say speaker, which means that this is the area that your phone is going to go in. So I'm going to take the phone and I'm going to put it in the tray, right? And now that, that it's uh, in place, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little speaker cover. You notice this right here? I'm going to remove it from here because I have two of them. And then what I'm going to do is it has a little alignment notch here. You see how you have this little thing right here for alignment? I'm just going to place it. Let me just show you, see if I can get it in here like this. I'm going to place the alignment notch first. And then I'm going to push down. All right, let's make sure our phone is nicely in place. Um, because it's a really thin strip and it's just going to cover the top of the phone. So uh, the phone is securely in place. This is covering the portion that it needs to at the very top. I still have this on here uh, because what I'm going to do is just wipe it down a little bit just to make sure everything looks good. But make sure that you have this in place to protect the speaker. Now the next thing I'm going to do, and I would advise you to do this often, is I'm going to inspect the phone to make sure there isn't any dust before I proceed. So I'm going to just tilt it on the side and look at it at an angle to see that there isn't any dust in place. I'm moving this around just to make sure um, nothing has been caught and everything still looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these guides that we have here. I'm going to place this tray right on top of it, right? It's going to go just like this, snap into place. And then I'm going to put these little cotton strips on each side, and they're going to absorb any excess fluid. Now keep in mind, I'm going to check this one more time to make sure it doesn't have any dust. If I need to, I'll use this, but we'll check and see if I need to. So I went ahead and inspected the glass. Everything looks still good. So now I'm going to put this bridge in. And now we're going to put the adhesive. Now make sure that you're working in a flat surface. If not, then you'll want to make sure that the bubble is in the middle. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this cap, remove the red cap. Now don't remove the black cap because once you remove the black cap, then the liquid will start coming out. I'm going to tilt it like this, turn it till it locks into place, and then I'm going to remove the top. And as I do this slowly, you're going to see the liquid will start coming out. All right. We'll go ahead and remove it completely, and you're going to see how liquid came out. Now, one other tip. If you ever find that there's a drop somewhere else, you do not want to go through the installation with a drop in uh, somewhere mixed on the screen. So you'll want to do is move it a little bit. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. You see how you can move it? See how the water or the fluid moves? You'll move it until that bubble with the little drop, if it's somewhere else, connects and then make sure that everything is all together. You do not want to have any droplets anywhere else. Now, the other thing that I'll do here is I'm going to remove this. And as I remove it, I'm going to also tilt it to the side because sometimes there's a little extra adhesive there. So I'm going to just tilt it like this, see if there's anything there. I even remove it here, make sure everything is out. And then what I'm going to do is take my cap, the black cap, I'm going to put it right on top of it. That way I don't get any liquid. You saw that drop how it came out? It had some extra. Uh, we're going to then cover this too so that we're all secure. Now, so far, everything is looking good. It looks like we're, we have a good level base. I'm inspecting to see if there's any dust. doesn't look like there's dust. And now I'm going to take the screen protector. 
And with the screen protector, we're gonna, we have two tabs to it, right? So I'm gonna pull the back adhesive off, so this area here, the, the screen protector, remove it, put that to the side, and then I'm gonna start with the bottom. Now, before I put the bottom on, and this is why I want you to watch this video before you do this, is I'm gonna take this little tab, and I'm gonna place it right here. Okay, so the tab is in place, and then I'm gonna take this, inspect it again, Everything looks good. Start with the bottom and then place it just like this. All right? So, so far everything looks good. The bubble's where I want it to be. And the next thing we're going to use is this guide tray. So, notice this guide. I'm going to place it right here just like so. Put it right here. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to push on this side here. It's going to force this bubble to come down. And what I'm looking for, as soon as the bubble gets close to this line, I am then going to pull the tab, right? So this bubble will move to this line right here, somewhere in the center, and then I'll pull the tab. This is gonna force the glass down. It's gonna force the adhesive to start to spread. So let's go ahead and do that. Don't worry if it's not straight, right? So my desk is a little bit crooked, so I'm just gonna help it a little bit to keep it like right there in the center. And then I'm gonna to continue to guide it. Let's uh, move it over. So I'm just moving it a little bit like that. See how I'm moving it just to make sure I have it where I want it. And then I'm going to just bring it down like this, pushing it. And you see where it's right there. Wait until it hits that line and then I pull. All right, so now what's going to happen is the adhesive is going to spread. I'm going to give it a couple seconds because we'll be moving on to the actual UV part of the video. So you'll notice how it's just dispersing, right? So this uh, this is also a weight that's pushing down and you're getting it. So I'm just gonna wait about 60 seconds to make sure it covers. Now while that's doing um, that, we're gonna move all of our supplies over to the side. We don't need it anymore. We do need this guy right here. We need do need the USB cable. And I wanna give you another tip. So if it's hard to find a USB connection somewhere in your house, what you can do is just use something like this. I'm using a little power bank to power up my UV light. It just makes it a lot easier so I'm not struggling. So while that's getting placed, I'm gonna inspect it in a couple seconds. I'm just gonna let it continue to disperse and then I'll review it. I'm just gonna power up the UV, UV light and we'll go through the UV process. Now with the UV process, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to first cure the bottom, then the top, 15 seconds, 15 seconds. We're going to take it out, and then we're going to do a minute and a minute um, once we do that. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything connected. And then what I'll do is I'll inspect to make sure that the liquid um, has dispersed correctly. All right, so I took a closer look at the, the screen protector. It looks like everything is covered. So all I'm going to do is just grab right here, and I'm just going to lift, right? So now that I lift it, there's no liquid on this, and you'll notice that there are no light spots. Everything seems to have good adhesive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more inspection to make sure everything's good, and then we'll start the UV process. Now the next step in our process is that we're gonna UV light the bottom and the top, 15 seconds on each side, and then we're gonna do a one minute cure once we remove it out of the case. Now you'll notice here that it says, if you press the button once, you're gonna get a 15 second timer on the UV light. If you press it twice, you're gonna get 60 seconds. So there's no guesswork here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna press it once, and this is gonna give us 15 seconds. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, and we'll give it 15 seconds. So now that we've cured each side 15 seconds, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move the top tray, we're gonna remove the phone, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe the phone down. Now, what we wipe down is gonna be the sides to make sure that we don't have any excess uh, glue. So I'm just gonna wipe that down. Now, if you like, if there's any uh, debris or anything on your phone, you can lightly wipe this down. So I'll just wipe it down like this. Um, you don't really have to do that. I, I haven't, haven't had any negative or positive experiences by doing that. So that's kind of an optional step. Uh, now what we're going to do is I'm just going to make sure that my battery is powered up. And what we'll do is we'll do the two times press because we want to get one minute here. So we're going to do the top for a minute, and then we'll do the bottom for a minute. Now we'll do the same thing on the bottom two times so that we can get that one minute cure. Now we're not done yet. We're gonna do it one more time again at the top and at the bottom, two times so that we get that one minute and then we'll do it one more time on the bottom. 
Now the last step in the process is to wipe it down one more time. I'm just gonna wipe it down, make sure I don't have any residue left. It's been cured twice. And I'm gonna remove all the stickers now. So we have you know, that looking good. We'll go ahead and remove all the stickers. And then we'll test to see if our fingerprint uh, works. Now the next step is to test to see if our fingerprint works. Now remember, in many cases it may not. So if it doesn't work, don't worry. Just use your pin to unlock your phone and then register the fingerprint again. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. It's powered up and it works. Now how's the responsiveness of the phone? Well, everything feels the same. It actually feels better if you had a plastic screen protector, it wouldn't feel like glass. So now we have glass on top of glass. Now the next thing is, what about the S Pen? Is that still working? So I'm gonna turn off the phone and I'm gonna let it enable and I'm gonna just write on glass. Everything still works. Now the very last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the glass protector for our camera model. It's pretty straightforward. All we have to do is use um, an alcohol wipe to wipe down the back area of our phone, our camera module. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up really quick. And that's just gonna remove any kind of excess debris that may be there, any oils, right? Um, the package does come with some little wipes. I'm gonna wipe that down. Just make sure that it's dust free, all right? And then all we're gonna do here, there's no UV curing process here, right? All you have is a back area to this, and I'm just gonna remove it just like that. And then what I like doing is I like using the sides to guide uh, where this is gonna go. So I'm just gonna use um, my fingers on the side to guide, and also the top to make sure I have it where it needs to be. And then what I'll do is I'll just place it down. So now check out how I'm um, actually placing it. I'm gonna put my fingers here in the corner so that I can feel that I'm coming up against the glass and then what I'm doing is I'm just running my finger here on the sides like this and then guiding it down. And it's that easy. So that concludes our install of the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector.